Well, here's the plan. It's Friday the 13th. And I'm going to try to put together a decent video for you all. It's been a while. But uh, it's about 3 o'clock, 90 degrees. And I'm just starting out and I've already got a bandana tied around my head to keep the keep the sweat out of my eyes. But we're gonna see what we can get into. If you notice no dogs with me. They've left me or something, I don't know what it's well two of them has died. And uh the other two, I don't know where they're at, but anyway, I'll get back with you in a few. Bad thing about this hike, 90% of it is uphill. The good thing about this hike, 90% of it coming back is downhill. And it's a warming up fast. Catch you on a few. I'm trying to travel in the shade as much as I can, as I'm telling you, it is hot. Well, there's some places you just can't avoid the sun, and I'm gonna be on the old, old logging road in a little bit. And uh, in my opinion, it's gonna be hot on it. I've brought probably close to a gallon of water as I just walked through a spider web the size of my face. But uh, it is a beautiful day to be out. I'm glad y'all come along with me. Catch you in a few. Well, I just took a little break, drunk a bottle of water. And I'm moving on. It's important when you're in the woods like this to stay hydrated. I've been out and not carried enough water before. And it's, a uh, yeah, it can get pretty miserable. But, and there's no water sources in here, none whatsoever. So you better pack what you need. I will say it is much cooler in the shade. Get back with y'all in a few. Yep, I'm on the first log in the road. Make a little better speed on it. And there's another one up here above me that I'm going to go around and get on that ridge and go up top. I may change the batteries in my camera. I don't know if you can see that spider web or not. But it's not there anymore. Feels good to be back in the woods. It's been a while. I'll get back with y'all in a few. There you go, Rick Ball. I'm gonna head around this road 
and go up that ridge right in through there somewhere come up to the top and then we'll come back down this one get back to y'all in a few Spider webs galore through here. That was my dad's tree stand. He passed away in December 2015. And just to be honest, deer hunting's never been the same for me. There's a feeder that we hung up. But anyway, he saw deer out of that. I never did see any. This is actually pretty far back on the mountain. But, uh, my tree stands right on the very top. see if we can see if we can get up there and change the batteries in it get back with y'all in a few well this just happened I took my backpack off I was going to sit down drink a little water and I'm not using the backpack that I normally use and when I took it off one of my water bottles flew out of it and took off down the hill. And I think I see it down there. But I'm not sure. So, I guess we'll try to see if we can find it. Yeah, I see it. Sad thing is, I'm gonna have to climb back up this thing. You see that for me? get back with y'all after I get back up top of this hill and drink some water. Well, I 
Made it back up, put it down for about 30 minutes, drunk some water. Then I'm on the ridge, headed back toward the top. And though I have to say, there was the most wonderful breeze of blowing while I was sitting there. I mean, it's just awesome. I think I made a little short video clip of it. I'll probably put it in this. But it was just so comfortable. I thought I might get rained on, but it's the sun stayed up most of the time. Headed into bear country. Get a lot of pictures of them up here. And looks like one's been digging on that log. I'll turn y'all on when I get close to the top. That's one of my favorite places. I like these old rocky ridges. As long as I don't see no snakes. Somebody probably killed a squirrel with that shotgun shell. Well, I'm gonna get back off here. I'll get back with you in a few. I better be looking at the ground while I'm gonna cross these rocks. Still climbing. Another root ball. Root ball. Okay, I'll get back to y'all when I get up here at my camera. Well, I've not made it to my camera yet, but this place is a jungle. Between the saw briars and trees that blow down. Not a whole lot of shade either. Keep moving. Okay, there's my camera. So we made it up here. And we're gonna, I'm gonna get out here and change the batteries and I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Okay, I got the battery switched in it. I'm tell you about it. I said the other day it was six and a half foot off the ground. It's probably just six. But uh, there may be a little less. But anyway, a little water hole where the deer drink out of, I guess. I used to have a salt bar. That's probably what, it's, what it is, I guess, where they dig around. But yeah, this is where I get all my deer and bear pictures at. Get back with y'all in a few. Well, we got it over with. Now we're going to come back down this steep ridge. After I get out here and take a little bit of a break, drink some water.
Another root ball. Let me get through this mess and I'll get back to y'all after I take a little break. Okay, I've had a pretty good break. Heading back down this ridge. The one I showed you all a while ago. Went up one ridge and come back down this one. It looks like it, that tree has moved a little bit. It fell back in the winter, I guess. But you can tell it's shifted a little bit. I feel like a squirrel. Would be the easiest way. I'll do this way. Hell, this place was logged probably, uh, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago maybe. Usually gets so thick. So this is this is another dry ridge. Not a whole lot grows on it. Native American trail marker. He just didn't know which way to go. I don't know if this shows how steep this is, but it's pretty very darn steep. Just more or less trailblazing right now. Time to get down this ridge. I guess I'll close this one out. I'm almost back to where we took that road around to the other ridge. Uh, I hope this turned out to be a pretty good video. My editing skills ain't, ain't that good. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you the next time around. One more thing. Here's a shag bar kickery. For muzzy loader camp, peanut at muzzy loader camp. There you go, peanut. And Chris, 
I tried to find a Bigfoot for you, but it just didn't happen. Might be because they ain't real. Thank you all for watching.